Welcome for the next part of the course, Electrical Designing and Drafting. So in the previous part, we have seen the basic calculation of lighting as well as the raw power schedules and the transformer, generator and the UPS sizing. In this part, we shall understand about the cable sizing. So in the chapter 12, you can see we are going to define the cable size. So what is mean by cable and the thumb rule for the cable sizing, we have already understood in the previous part. So in this chapter, we are going to refer some manufacturing data with different different areas. Based upon that, we are going to find out the cable size. Cable sizing is a very lengthy calculation. So we have to define different different parameters like resistance, reactance, impedance, and multiple things. So once when you have defined the cable sizing, after completion of that, we shall go with the second step of calculation in the same cable sizing, which is called as voltage drop. Okay, why it is necessary to go with voltage drop? Remember that whatever the amount of voltage which you are sending, it is not compulsory that the same amount of voltage you will receive. So there can be a drop because of internal losses or any kind of exterior losses also. So in this voltage drop, we are going to find out the percentage value, okay, for the high tension side as well as for the low tension side. Next in the chapter three, the same cable sizing, we are going to proceed with short circuit calculation. This is a very vast calculation and very deep calculation. So what is mean by short circuit? You have to understand this first. Short circuit is nothing but excessive amount of current which can enter into the system to damage your equipment. So always a short circuit value will be in terms of Coulombia. After completion of calculation of circuit breaker sizing, we have to go with the short circuit calculation also because this is one of the additional parameter of your circuit breaker. Once when you have done with this, based upon the short circuit results, we are going to find out the tripping time. In how much amount of time the circuit breaker has to trip and isolate, like something like one second, 0.1 second, or less than three seconds, or etc. So all those things we are going to work with chapter three. So once when we have done with these three additional topics, irrespective to the cable size, like voltage drop, short circuit, and tripping, based upon these results only, we can able to justify the cable size. After completion of this, we are going with chapter 14. In this chapter, we are going to understand the four basic concepts of cable rays, earthing, bus bar, and lightning crystal. The calculation of cable ray is very simple, but installation and execution is very complex because we have to coordinate with other services. Next, talking about earthing. Earthing is very important area in electrical designing. If you are not going to satisfy the earthing, then you will never get any kind of approvals. Okay to lease out the area or to be in the area. Next, talking about the bus bar. Bus bar is actually the conductor which carries generally heavy amount of current and this will be uninsulated. Next, talking about the lightning arrestor. Okay, so lightning arrestor is actually required when you're working with any kind of high-rise buildings or even you're working with high-rise projects or when you're working with, okay, petrol banks, bus stands or railway stations or etc. So in this area, we are going to place the lightning arrestors. All these lightning arrestors are connected to separate earthing pits. So all the four topics we are going to cover in the chapter 14. In the chapter 15, we are going to cover about the CCTV system and the public address system. As you can see nowadays, almost in every project, there is a requirement of CCTV for the security and the surveillance point of view. So in this topic, we are going to understand some basics of CCTV, different cameras, what we are having, and difference between the NVR, DVR, etc. Again, talking about the public address system. So public address system, basically we have, we have three components, like we have a microphone, we have an amplifier, and we have a speaker. So these three things we are going to understand in the public address system. Thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm.